Hey everybody, we're Hanson. This is our piece for Sounds Magazine. It's always great to, to kick off, you know, album release with the actual music. Yeah. Um, so we got to kind of introduce the music to fans in, in the States with, uh, you know, a live show in New York kind of featuring the new album. Um, the other thing about this whole record is it coincides with our 21st anniversary as a band. Uh, the band has been a band for 21 years, yeah. so we have six albums to look back on, plus just all the years of, of making music, playing shows, mm -hmm. and is, is a busy, busy time. So we, um, we've just been running around everywhere trying to share the new record. For the last 10 years, we've run our own label and released our records ourselves. Um, and we've always uh, been very involved in the production, whether we were producing it or whether we were producing it with somebody else. Mm -hmm. but, but releasing the music is sort of that whole other stage. It's the way people perceive the music outside um, of what you're doing. Not, not the creative process, but the visual representation. I think for us, it's, it was just a natural step to step into that world, especially as the music industry in 2003, there had been so many shifts in the business. Um, it, it was such a natural step for us to say, you know what, we're a band that loves to be involved in everything and we're not afraid to be in control and responsible for every process. Um, we really wouldn't have it any other way. Um, for us, it was either you're chasing other people trying to make sure they're doing their job or you're just doing the job yourself. The new album is called Anthem, mm -hmm. which means you're putting a lot of emphasis on a single word. This album has a sense of size, it has a sense of scale and weight. And Well, frankly, and Anthem is a rallying cry of some sort. So you're something kind of, that brings people yeah, together. Bringing people together in some kind of emotive way. Yeah. When we're sitting on stage playing these songs, I think this album is going to be um, at its very, very, very best because it was really imagined with the audience in mind, you know, with the fans in mind. With the live show in mind. Yeah. One thing we're particularly excited about with this album is taking the songs to the stage. So th this tour is going to take us all over the, the world. We'll be in the UK and Europe. We'll be in uh, the US, uh, all over South America this all summer. Canada. Um, all over Canada. All over Canada. And then hopefully Asia and Australia early next year. There's a song on the record, uh, on the record anthem that's called Tonight. And it talks about it being the first night, it being the last night. And basically, in some form or another, saying you've only got the moment that you're in. So tonight is the first night and the last night. It really speaks to, in a lot of ways, the way we feel about albums and about shows is you have to make it count every single time. And so for us, uh, that plays into the fact that the shows change up every night, the fact that the show has to have a degree of excitement and passion that is important in, you know, every single time you go out. And so hopefully people will feel that every single time they come see a show. I mean, the interesting thing about you know bands and and bands of brothers is there's a lot of them. I mean, historically, yeah. there's lots of siblings in bands. Um, you know, Everly Brothers, the Isley Brothers, the Jackson Five, Oasis, mm -hmm. Black you know, Crows, Black Crows, Stone Temple Pilots. You know, I mean, there, there's a, there's a huge list, and there are some very famous ones that have had public conflict between each other. So that's yeah. you know, it's understandable why why people want to go like, hey, you guys get along, right? I mean, ultimately, no matter who you are, every day you have to make a choice to go, okay, I'm going to work on this relationship. I'm going to try and make it good. Uh, in fact, I, I think you have maybe more factors that could pull you apart just because being brothers, you, you have so many experiences where you've been together for so long, you know exactly what button to push if you want to get that guy pissed off. Mm -hmm. The appearance in uh, Katy Perry's Last Friday Night video was just as random as it seems. Um, yeah. We were uh, in LA, happened to be at the time that they were making the video. They called us up, said, hey, we want to have a band for this party scene. Do you guys want to be part of it? And we said, well, 
what do we have to do? We have to be a band? Oh, that sounds easy. <laughs> and so, you know, we went out and, and did it. It was a fun time. And I mean, we just basically played all day. We grabbed the instruments, plugged them in, played. They turned on the music, and we just had fun. So a couple years ago, we began talking about beer. Um, because for one, we, we watched you know our own enthusiasm for the for beer. Could you know there's a huge movement of great craft beer in the U.S. where you see lots of micro brews creating really interesting beers. So there's a new beer. We we sort of started off with a slightly tongue-in-cheek name. The first beer is called Mhops, and inspired by the first track Mbop, the first single that came out. Mm -hmm. um, it's a pale ale. It's kind of a full-flavored uh, American pale ale. It has uh, it has a lot of kick to it. It's a pretty alcoholic, strong beer. But um, the main thing that's exciting about it is the idea that it really, um, it's a completely, you know, standalone venture. I mean, it's a beer uh, brand. It, it's one we're going out to stores to retail with. We're going to start it by launching it with the U.S. tour in the fall, and then hopefully we'll be able to get fans all over the world to get access to it. Um, the most important thing about the beer is it's a really good beer. And um, you it's know, one that we'll drink on our frequent basis. It, it's it's the kind of beer that um, that I think anybody that is really into more full flavored beers will love. You know that you first try it kind of out of curiosity. You're going to want to to buy another one. And so, you know, the quality is really important. So it's exciting. I think the exciting thing about where we are now as a band, whether it's you know running the label or whether it's uh, you know, having a new beer or things like that, or whether it's, of course, most importantly, making music and writing songs, is that, is that the passion is the most important thing, and that you're able to kind of follow that passion wherever it leads. And I feel like we're, we're a better band than we've ever been, and that's exciting for me because I feel like, no matter what the future holds, it has to hold exciting, new, good music. And if you don't feel like you're making your best music, you're not going to be able to keep doing it. And so, uh, so the future hopefully will hold a lot more touring, a lot more albums, and and you know, uh, hopefully a lot of random fun in the process. Mm -hmm.